Here's meteorologist James Gilbert. Are we done with snow? Will we see any more flakes fly? Uh, no and yes to those questions. Winter storm tracker. It looks like with the cold that comes this weekend, it may come with some wintry mischief, so to speak. A little bit of rain snow mix possible for Saturday, Sunday. I could see some lake effect uh, fired up because of the cold air that arrives for the second half of the weekend and trickles into Next week, if you say, what about Wednesday? Well, it's barely anything in that category as uh, we may have a little bit of uh, some ice heading in our direction very early in the morning. Uh, but temperatures, I really think that's the biggest impact here. You look at Saturday and Sunday, these are the morning wind chills. So what does it feel like when you walk out the door? Well, the weekend, both days, certainly below freezing, but it just keeps dropping. Look at our Monday morning. I know you're not thinking about next week, but... Just keeping an eye on it, know that the winter jacket will get plenty of use um, over the next uh, week or so. 41 degrees, that's where we are right now. Beautiful view of Rochester. Love those high, wispy cirrus clouds. Still certainly sunglasses worthy. Clouds will increase this afternoon. We'll bump the temperatures up a bit into the mid 40s uh, later today. And then eventually rain showers start to work their way in on the very front edge. Early in the morning tomorrow, Wednesday, we could see a little wintry mix, but the focus really will be the rain in the afternoon. Maybe some downpours there as well. Some nice warmth Thursday. You like that? Near 60. Uh, then a cold weekend, as I mentioned earlier. Radar and satellite, let's take a look at this storm system that's heading in our direction. We'll zoom out a bit, and the very eastern edge of this system's trying to work its way into New York State, 100, 150 miles away. Generally, it's got a ways to go, and it's moving very slowly. Not a ton of moisture on the very front edge. That's the weak part. Here's the strong part of the same storm system. Uh, look at it just tearing across. Uh, looks like Louisiana heading toward Mississippi, eventually into Alabama. Severe weather for them. Snow looks like in Nebraska. For us, we're just going to be dealing with rain uh, for Thursday. That's a good thing, certainly, uh, compared to what threats we could be seeing. All right, so we like the sun through this afternoon. We see the clouds start to increase, and uh, you'll see a very blip shot of maybe a little bit of a wintry mix. You could practically ignore that. You might not even notice it as it slides on by. I think we're dry through about lunchtime Wednesday. Let's ramp up the rain, though, as we get through the evening. It's a wet evening commute, maybe some downpours here. You see some reds. That's when we could potentially see a passing thunderstorm in the morning, and it actually pushes temperatures up. Warm front helps send, uh, look at these uh, morning temperatures, near 50 Thursday morning. We likely finish Thursday uh, around 60 degrees, so it's very mild, and then we drop drop temperatures into Friday, uh, and then they just keep going down. Saturday drops, Sunday highs stuck in the 30s there, uh, and yeah, we could see um, it'll take a little bit. You really got to get the stars to align to get accumulating snow this late in the season, uh, but it could be definitely possible uh, by Sunday and mm -hmm. Monday. Running out of days to say that, my friend. Yes, we are. We are officially into spring.